بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رياض الصالحين حديث نمبر 185 The chapter is the chapter of commanding good and forbidding evil حني من مسعود رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما من نبي بعث الله في أمة قبلي إلا كان له من أمته حواريون Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said there is no Nabi that Allah has sent to any ummah before me except that from his ummah there were pious helpers and companions who held tight to his sunnah and who followed his commands. ثم إنها تخلف من بعدهم خلوف After them came people, their predecessors خلوف يقولون ما لا يفعلون ويفعلون ما يؤمرون who would say what they would not do themselves and who would do what they were not commanded to do in the scriptures فمن جاهدهم بيده فهو مؤمن the one who opposes them and fights them and stops them from doing what they are doing with the force of his hand with the force of his authority with the force of the powers that Allah has given him, then he is a mu'min. وَمَنْ جَاهَدَهُمْ بِقَلْبِهِ فَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ And the one who fights them with his heart, he sees what they are doing as bad. He makes dua for their hidayah. He makes dua for their evil plans to fail. He makes dua for the oppressors. In his heart, then he is a mu'min. وَمَنْ جَاهَدَهُمْ بِلِسَانِهِ فَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ And the one who speaks out against them, and he opposes them with his tongue, then he is a mu'min. وَلَيْسَ وَرَاءَ ذَلِكَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ حَبَّةُ خَرْدَلْ And apart from these three conditions where a person physically opposes or vocally and verbally opposes or in his heart he opposes, apart from that there is not even a mustard seed worth of iman in any fourth condition apart from this. Allahu Akbar. So, in this Mubarak Hadith, we are told uh, to say every Nabi had his Sahaba, his Awari Yun, his pious helpers, uh, who followed his commands and who held tight to his Sunnah and who followed his commands. And then after <coughs> the times of the Anbiya came the times of the bad predecessors who started saying what they do not do themselves. They would command people to do good. They would not do good themselves. They would prohibit people from evil, but they would indulge in evil themselves. And then they would do things which they were not commanded to do by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for such people, If you physically oppose them, you are a mu'min. If you oppose them in your heart, you are a mu'min. If you oppose them with your tongue, you speak out against them, you are a mu'min. And if you are not in one of these three conditions, then according to this Mubarak Hadith, such a person does not even have a mustard seed. Allahu Akbar. So this Hadith talks about the need to command good and to forbid evil and to stand up against evil and to protect mankind and the ummah against evil when it is being uh, committed. Secondly, this hadith also tells us that iman comes in different conditions. Uh, people have different levels of iman. The way you have high voltage and low voltage in Zesco, you have high iman and low iman. So a person can be at a very high stage of iman at some stage in his life, and he can come to moderate, he can come to low, he can even switch off. According to other ahadiths, when a person is committing a major sin, at that particular time, Iman actually leaves his body and waits outside until he has committed, finished committing his evil and then it comes back into his body. So Iman is something that we need to look after. And Iman is something that we need to nurture and we need to develop and we need to strengthen. In another hadith of Surah Abu Dawood, it is narrated from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when an evil is being done on the earth and the person who is present 
dislikes what is being done, he is like the one who was not present in it. And the person who was absent, but he agrees with what was being done, it is like the person who participated in the evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who stand firm in deen and who stand firm for the right and who are always there for the protection of the ummah from all kinds of evil and who are there to command and to encourage good in the ummah. وآخر دعوانا عن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته